Dichlorine monoxide, is an inorganic compound with the molecular formula dichlorine monoxide. It was first synthesized in 1834 by Antoine Jérôme Ballard, who along with Gay Lussac also determined its composition. In older literature it is often referred to as chlorine monoxide, which can be a source of confusion as that name now refers to the neutral species ClO. At room temperature it exists as a brownish-yellow gas which is soluble in both water and organic solvents. Chemically, it is a member of the chlorine oxide family of compounds, as well as being the anhydride of hypochlorous acid. It is a strong oxidizer and chlorinating agent. Preparation The earliest method of synthesis was to treat mercury oxide with chlorine gas. However this method is expensive, as well as highly dangerous due to the risk of mercury poisoning. 2 Cl2 plus HgO mercury 2 chloride plus Cl2O A safer and more convenient method of production is the reaction of chlorine gas with hydrated sodium carbonate, at 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. 2 Cl2 plus 2 sodium carbonate plus H2O D chlorine monoxide plus 2 sodium hydrogen carbonate plus 2 sodium chloride Cl2 plus 2 sodium hydrogen carbonate D chlorine monoxide plus 2 CO2 plus 2 sodium chloride plus H2O This reaction can be performed in the absence of water but requires heating to 150 to 250 degrees Celsius, as dichlorine monoxide is unstable at these temperatures it must therefore be continuously removed to prevent thermal decomposition. 2 Cl2 plus sodium carbonate D chlorine monoxide plus CO2 plus 2 sodium chloride. Structure The structure of dichlorine monoxide is similar to that of water and hypochlorous acid, with the molecule adopting a bent molecular geometry due to the lone pairs on the oxygen, resulting in C2V molecular symmetry. The bond angle is slightly larger than normal, likely due to steric repulsion between the bulky chlorine atoms. In the solid state, it crystallizes in the tetrahedral space group I41, AMD, making it isostructural to the high-pressure form of water, ice 8. Reactions Dichlorine monoxide is highly soluble in water, where it exists in an equilibrium with HOCl. The rate of hydrolysis is slow enough to allow the extraction of dichlorine monoxide with organic solvents such as carbon tetrachloride, but the equilibrium constant ultimately favors the formation of hypochlorous acid. 2 HOCl dichlorine monoxide plus H2OK 0 degrees Celsius equals 3.55 x 10 minus 3 cubic decimeters. Mole despite this, it has been suggested that dichlorine monoxide may be the active species in the reactions of HOCl with olefins and aromatic compounds, as well as in the chlorination of drinking water. With inorganic compounds. Dichlorine monoxide reacts with metal halides, with the loss of Cl2, to form unusual oxyhalides. VOCl3 plus D chlorine monoxide VO2 Cl plus 2 Cl2 Titanium 4 chloride plus D chlorine monoxide TOC2 plus 2 Cl2 SBCI5 plus 2 Ci2O antimony 4 oxide C plus 4 Cl2 Similar reactions have also been observed with certain inorganic halides. ASCI3 plus 2 Ci2O ASO2 Ci plus 3 Cl2 NOCl plus D chlorine monoxide NO2 Cl plus Cl2 With organic compounds Dichlorine monoxide is an effective chlorinating agent. It can be used for either the side chain or ring chlorination of deactivated aromatic substrates. For activated aromatics such as phenols and aryl ethers it primarily reacts to give ring halogenated products. It has been suggested that dichlorine monoxide may be the active species in the reactions of HOCl with olefins and aromatic compounds. Photochemistry Dichlorine monoxide undergoes photodissociation, eventually forming O2 and Cl2. The process is primarily radical-based, with flash photolysis showing radical hypochlorite to be a key intermediate. 
2D chlorine monoxide 2Cl2 plus O2. Explosive properties Dichlorine monoxide is explosive, although there is a lack of modern research into this behavior. Room temperature mixtures with oxygen could not be detonated by an electric spark until they contained at least 23.5% dechlorine monoxide, which is an exceedingly high minimum explosive limit. There are conflicting reports of it exploding on exposure to strong light. Heating above 120 degrees Celsius, or a rapid rate of heating at lower temperatures also apparently lead to explosions. Liquid dichlorine monoxide has been reported to be shock-sensitive. References <references>